year ago, we shook things up here at KCAL <laughs> News and we launched our new morning show. We expanded to seven hours of local news every single morning. We hired some new faces on air and behind the scenes to put together one of the strongest and most dedicated news teams mm -hmm. in the Los Angeles area. Here's a look back at some of the highlights and most memorable moments over the last 12 months at KCAL. Speed. All right, take a hit on two sources. Yeah, Tina, you follow Rick, okay? In five, four, three, two, one. This is KCAL News Mornings. And good morning. Today is Thursday, January 5th. I'm Rudabay Shabasi. I'm Jamie Yukas. Reporter Rick Montez is live. Right now, it is coming down in sheets. Your next traffic updates happening between 4 a.m. and 9 a.m. I'm watching some construction on the 15 freeway that could slow you down. We are tracking this major storm hitting the Southland this morning. You can see on the radar behind us. Here at the desk, we have been gathering a bunch of data on this earthquake, and I want to share some of it with you. The first thing I want to show you is the seismograph. Take a look. <laughs> yeah, I just had a little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mushy stuff in my eye here. <laughs> but it has been flying through here all morning. Well, we looked at all sorts of incidents, all by railroad and air, and what we've uncovered may actually surprise you. Most people think rail incidents are the most risky, but the numbers you'll see only this morning on KCAL News show that of the three, there are much fewer hazardous rail incidents. Very rough surf. I'm talking waves as high as 15 to 20 feet later on this week, and we have a very high risk of rip currents, so stay out of the water. KCAL News Anchor Rudabay Shabazi is the only reporter live in Lahaina, a hard hit area of that fire. And it is just so much devastation. A lot of the search area is still blocked off, so we haven't been able to see that because uh, they still have only uh, searched through about 38% of it. We are here for our class act segment, Glendale High School, right on Broadway. There are so many people who could have gone so many different directions. What was it for you specifically where you said, I need to be better? Well, it was my mother. I promised to a dying mother. Uh, I was incarcerated at the time. She said, you've embarrassed me all your life. And she said, would you please turn your life around before I die? KCAL News reporter Amanda Sorrentino joins us live from the ice in Long Beach. And look at Amanda. You know, I think she has a, a second career as a professional ice skater. You look great, Amanda. This was my first career, <laughs> Rachel. Let's take a look at your next weather now with Amber Lee. Good morning. Hi, good morning. It's going to be the warmest day of the week. We've been waiting for it. We've been talking about it. And these gusty Santa Ana winds are doing exactly what it's doing by drying us out. People who park in this neighborhood are very frustrated and they're hoping that this guy who damaged all these cars will be caught soon. Oh, oh look yeah. at that. Nice swing, Chris. No that pressure, nice. Chris. Dead straight. Oh, you're acting like you Maybe didn't I practice this. Maybe I should never practice. The Israeli military has expanded its operations along the Gaza Strip, especially along the southern border. Now, I want to show you this right here. This map right here, which was given to us, shows that there's not a lot of options for Palestinians to go. Story number 10, we're chatting live with NSYNC's Lance Bass about his new podcast. The 10 and 10 is back right after the break. This is when I, I start to feel old when I, I start know. to talk like the Gen Zers. And then I had to look up beige flag. It just means boring. Oh, oh it's boring? <laughs> You said it wasn't good or bad. Oh, Thank you. And the weekend is almost here. There are a lot of fun things to do here. Oh, look, look, we have a camera. A group of good-hearted people in Anaheim swing into action every year. And thank you for being here all the time for the past 40 years, you know, Channel 9, wow. Oh, you know, they were the first one to be here. And thank you very, very much. This system not expected to bring us any rain impacts, but we are seeing clouds spread over Southern California. Good morning. Hey, Marcy. Marcy, no rhymes with Ruta Bay. Lovely day, which I hope you guys <laughs> have ahead of you. I'm joined now by L.A. County Supervisor Janice Hahn, who is holding a news conference later this morning on the growing problem of gift card scams. I was a victim of this uh, gift card draining scam. I would say I'm a, a normal guy. The last thing standing or held that says Golden Globe Awards is this sign. This was on the podium when they made the announcement this morning. See how fun it is. Woo!
spot on, you know, and so that was my name. <laughs> Are we sure it's not five years worth of stuff? <laughs> it feels like it sometimes. It's a lot in there. Yeah, it's been quite a journey though. It's been an incredible journey. I think we've grown so much. We've gotten to know each other, which has been a real privilege. I'm lucky to work with all of you. Oh, you're so way. sweet. Yeah. There's it's, a lot of people who are involved in this. I think we talked about it earlier, just the director's having to learn an entirely new system. We have an entirely new Fernando set. Fernando doing the steady Fernando cam. over here doing hey, steady He can't cam. wait because it's steady. <laughs> I know but behind the scenes people right. yes. too don't Absolutely. get enough credit. And they, there they there are. are. Yay. Thanks guys. Yeah, Happy we'll anniversary. And too. thank you for all you've done to help us launch seven hours of news. Can we shout out our makeup artist too? Because she has oh, like a yes, hundred faces to do. Um, it makes us all look like we're awake. When yes, we're thank goodness. <laughs> She's uh, desperately needed in the morning. So, Lynn, thank you. Yes. And when you make Absolutely. seven hours of news, you got to like the people you work with because that's yeah. a yeah. lot of hours out of the day. And everyone behind the scenes, in front of the camera, it's just a good group of people. Yeah, good humans. Yeah. And that's good what you want too. Yep, absolutely. Okay, well, let's what are we talk doing about now?